Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at BFX. I wish all of you who are celebrating it a um, happy Easter and as usual we're gonna take a look at all the majors including gold and oil. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you do like these videos and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys, a quick look at the calendar. Um, as you know, Monday is a bank holiday, so we got, we're gonna have a short trading week starting on uh, Tuesday. Not much of a major event on the calendar on Tuesday, only trade balance from China. Then Wednesday we have uh, core retail sales and retail sales from the US, it's the month of month. Then we have uh, from Canada monetary policy uh, report. I'm not expecting much fireworks there. They done what they wanted to do and um, lowered uh, the rate. Uh, what's important gonna be the press conference uh, on Wednesday from uh, the BOC. And Thursday we have uh, em employment change and unemployment rate for Aussie. Also unemployment claims for the US. I think this is a uh, very small number here uh, expected, but uh, we will see because so far they've been uh, at around uh, 66K um, uh, uh, each week. So this is a small number. And uh, on Friday we have <coughs> GDP from uh, China as well. So uh, those are the events, not much of events um, as mentioned, so it may be a slow week. And we will start with uh, the Dixie as usual. So uh, we've been talking uh, last week about this um, strong impulse and we were looking at this as a possible correction and if we're gonna get a continuation to the downside. We get, uh, we've got that move, we have now a lower high um, confirmed and established here. And uh, the dollar is testing uh, yet again an important uh, level of interest here looking left on the chart. So uh, for more downside, uh, we may uh, wait and see if this um, if we're going to get the same uh, situation as we had here on the lower time frame. So basically impulse correction, another impulse. Now we have a correction at that support level. And if the break happened, then we may see continuation back down toward 98.40 and 98.30 area down here where we have the previous low. So uh, that is what I'm looking for um, <clears throat> short term on the dollar. And there is probably a continuation if this uh, if this low got broken, that would be first impulse correction and the second impulse uh, further down maybe uh, the first stop uh, could be if so around the yearly pivot point down here okay so for now short term uh, could be continuation to the downside for the dollar oil is still inside this range and nothing new here actually keep buying uh, the 20 sell the 30 uh, 29 30 up here that is um, still the main uh, idea here the market is ranging inside this box now as you see buying low selling high uh, so far been a good uh, plan and we see that the market did break previous low here so looking for some kind of correction and continuation back down toward the 20 where uh, where should be a possible target and a possible level of um, defense uh, for the bulls yeah so uh, this uh, daily candle on friday was a strong bearish engulfing that closed below the lows which opened the way back down toward uh, the 20 once again. Gold still looking good, uh, still looking strong and about to tag previous high. I think this market will tag this previous high and if we have a break above it, then we start looking uh, toward uh, the 1800 to test this uh, previous high up here. So uh, the weekly candle last week was a strong bullish one. Uh, with a break above previous high and uh, I think uh, the least the market will do is tag this previous high and we will see if we're gonna have also a break above this level so for now keep buying those dips and um, following uh, the the bullish trend we have here so we had this amazing trade that uh, reached targets I hope you guys manage it to re uh, to take the trade 
and um, looking at the short term uh, chart, uh, four hour, one hour chart, uh, I think uh, we have a good uh, support at around 16.38, 16.40 as a possible buy level if the market reach that area. You should be looking for a possible buy down here on the gold, yeah? Uh, and target monthly R1. Now, if the market uh, would uh, break above that uh, previous high, then we keep looking for a continuation move to the upside. EURUSD, the opposite of the Dixie, so we've got a higher low now, uh, and uh, this um, we had this impulse another impulse a higher low established and we will see if we're gonna get at least a continuation to test these levels on uh, this chart there is a good structure here on the daily chart and uh, we may uh, see that uh, level got tested so uh, keep following that move on the lower time frame uh, for our one hour time frame we had a nice impulse correction another impulse breakout we have now a consolidation it was a slow day on friday since there was uh, many market was closed uh, so keep looking for a possible uh, retest of this level and maybe continuation higher that is the main idea here and uh, as far as we still have higher highs and higher lows on this chart we should keep looking to buy but if a break below this area happened then it is um, possibly a uh, one more leg to the downside yeah so uh, as far as this level is holding we are good to go um, we had uh, in our trading room a, a trade here we after this double bottom we took the 618 uh, correction and I'm still in the trade and looking to add more if there is signal for that sterling uh, is testing the uh, top of the range once again still no strong momentum here and uh, still maintained inside the range this range may now um, uh, give uh, the, the the bulls a little bit trouble because as far as there is no break above these highs uh, we may rotate for one more down as you see here there was no break uh, above this high and uh, until that happened uh, we may see a little bit of a rotation back down uh, maybe to the bottom of the range or at least to the 200 moving average on the one hour before that continuation now if we see a break higher a retest that hold above the range then we are looking for continuation to the upside on uh, sterling usd usd jp been very boring last week as you see here the whole week been uh, inside this little range and uh, there is not much to do here yet uh, keep following uh, the lower time frame um, it looks like we have an impulse a correction and any break below this could signal a continuation to the downside so keep following this little range here we have um, some kind of uh, triangle or pennant here descending triangle uh, after this impulse and as i said if we see a break below this look for the retest and maybe some continuation to the downside for more upside uh, it need to break above uh, this um, descending uh, trend line here this need to be broken for uh, uj to move higher so um, that would look something like this a break above that retest that hold above that then we may see continuation USD chief still looking for more downside here after the breakout uh, of the of the range uh, of the channel so we have a lower low a lower high a breakout of the channel correction another impulse and uh, I'm looking for some more downside here on this one if we go down to the one hour time frame we see it more clearly the impulse the correction another impulse sideways correction look for a retest toward this broken structure to then look for more downside is the main idea here that is what i'm watching on this pair for next week usd cat also pressure to the downside as you see a major support here now after this uh, lower high another lower low another lower high so we start having some kind of a trend to the downside here but for more downside uh, the bears near to break below this support level if broken we look for continuation and maybe a gap fill down here on the lower time frame uh, you see it uh, much clearer here uh, the lower low the lower high another lower low and the continuation to the downside now sitting at support 
as soon as this broken strongly look for a retest and continuation is the main idea it is a pretty simple trade here if that break to the downside would happen also usd uh, still uh, bullish and uh, we uh, have a uh, initial high and and an initial higher low we have a break above previous high so it is clear signal that we may see continuation here at least to tag these levels or maybe all the way to the top here so as far as the market is trading above this high any retest toward this area look for a continuation on this market and on the lower time frame you see it clearly the uh, retest of the range could be a good area to look for uh, a possible buy so any retest toward this range we look for a buy and a continuation so mark this level on your chart and uh, keep an eye on that uh, it's gonna be an important level uh, if tested once again New Zealand USD same situation uh, this one is a little bit late so if you look at Aussie it moved a lot after the break above previous high but New Zealand just broke above this level um, and um, I think we may see a continuation on this market to tag uh, these levels to test this uh, area here before maybe some reversal to start happen if that would be the case but more upside short term uh, is uh, the least we can expect now the market did break actually above this previous high important high got broken and as you see the the structure on the uh, one hour time frame is a bullish one with higher highs and higher lows i keep following now this trend line to see if it will keep holding as support so um, each time we reach that uh, trend line look for a possible buy because for now the market tested that level uh, at least three times four times still holding as far as the market is above it look for continuation there is a possible scenario here that we may see a break of the trend line and still keep pushing higher because as far as this low is not broken I think we may see continuation but if we break below it that will uh, signal failure for the bulls and maybe another continuation but as first I'm looking for a uh, continuation to the upside instead so uh, yeah that was it for uh, the YouTube version guys as usual I will uh, do the rest of all this chart for uh, my uh, subscribers to our trading room you can still do that as well we still have the offer of uh, 14 days trial for only one dollar you can cancel it whenever you want there is no question ask it um, for one dollar only and you will test the room for 14 days all you need to do is go to my site use the coupon code trial the link uh, you have the link uh, in the description below and uh, in the bottom of the screen here okay so if any of you want to try that go for it and uh, otherwise see you next week guys bye bye